Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're new, definitely be sure to subscribe and become part of my fam. I would love to have you here and today we are talking all about hair. This is something I actually hardly ever talk about here on my channel, which I'm noticing now. I figured I would share with you guys my favorite hair essentials, products that I absolutely adore and all of that relating the locks. Let's go ahead and jump. I kind of keep it simple and like minimal if that makes sense. You won't find a ton of products in this video I feel, but I still wanted to go ahead and do this video because I do get a ton of questions, especially on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram. Um, but I do get a ton of questions over there asking like, what do you use on your hair? Your hair is growing. I have quite the hair journey. I feel if you started following me back when I started my YouTube channel, I had like yellow blonde hair. We did some balayage. I had like the dark root blonde at the bottom and now we're completely all solid one color dark dark brown and I absolutely love it it probably appears a little bit like black like on camera but it's definitely a dark brown shade like a chocolate brown and that is something I feel like I'm going to stick with for a while it's kind of getting into how I'm keeping it healthy and shiny and thick and you know full of life I feel like is definitely the products that I'm using now Back then, I didn't really care what shampoo and conditioner I used. I never really thought of it as being like a really big deal, but in all actuality, it is a really big deal. You wanna make sure what you're using on your hair has good ingredients and it's not gonna like strip your hair and damage it and all of that. So this is the Pureology shampoo. This is their Hydrate Sheer. And I am literally so obsessed with it. The smell of it and the way it makes like my scalp feel. I don't know, it has like such a clean yet like minty type of aroma and feel i'm like obsessed with it if you have not tried it try it out it is a little bit more on the pricier side but for shampoo i always say to go with a more higher end luxury type of shampoo if it's not going to be a higher end one i always make sure to see if it's safe for color treated hair and there's no sulfate in it so it's sulfate free so it doesn't strip anything and you are good with your color and you know texture of your hair so this is silicone free and sulfate free and all of that. So this is 100% like my favorite shampoo. I also go in with either Redken or Matrix. I'm gonna leave them on the screen for you guys. So those are the shampoos I bounce back between. They are all safe for color treated hair and they all make my hair feel so, so good. And what I also love about it is that it makes my like scalp feel clean. I hate coming out of the shower and feeling like it did nothing. Like I wanna make sure I feel squeaky clean, you know? So those are ones that I'm obsessed with. This keeps my color lasting bomb like it's very good I highly recommend this one and now as for conditioner i also will pop a picture on the screen if i can find it but there's one from the drugstore that is my hands down favorite and i actually just finished it threw out the bottle and everything it is the l'oreal one and i did talk about it in a favorites video so i will have that below for you guys but right now what i'm using which i'm actually almost all done with is by wander beauty and this is their scenic root hair treatment so this is a conditioner mask leave-in treatment so what i like to do is actually just use it as a conditioner i don't leave it in my hair for too long i just do it like how i normally would pump you know conditioner in my hand a decent amount and put it more towards the ends of my hair and kind of work it in rinse it out and then we're good and my hair feels super soft super like nourish like leaves an awesome shine this also leaves an amazing shine behind as well but not like greasy you know like healthy so this is a conditioner i've been using for a while now actually since i got it i actually got it in pr and i'm obsessed with it so it's very hydrating like very deep conditioning this is the shampoo conditioner that i'm currently using this is the combo love it I only wash my hair once to twice a week and i know that sounds really gross depends how hard i go at the gym or like how much i'm sweating obviously i will do another shower for my hair but body shower every day guys <laughs> just letting you know but for hair i don't like to constantly wash it i feel like that's what makes and brings out more of the oils and we don't want all that so uh yeah i do like to have a little bit of dirty hair and i feel like that looks the best as well so that's also something that i've been doing as far as two leave-in conditioners that i've been using which i absolutely adore leave-in conditioners you can use that wonder beauty one as one once my hair is still damp i will kind of just towel dry it and then apply a leave-in conditioner from about here down to the ends of my hair these are the two that i've been using currently this one is by alterna and this one is by ag hair so this one actually came in like a fat fish one box but i've been using it since i got it and i love it it is so good so rich and like makes my hair feel 
very, very smooth. Like you, I get no tangles, no nothing. It is awesome. And then this is by Alterna. This is their Caviar CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction. And they both smell bomb. Kind of helps, obviously, with the texture of my hair. It feels a lot smoother, not frizzy, like none of that. And I actually did this yesterday. And for styling it today, I feel like my hair looks pretty darn good. Like it just looks really silky and smooth. And like I got it done, I feel. I don't know, but um, I do recommend a leave-in conditioner and these are the two that I've been using. Sometimes I'll just take a deep conditioner, use like a tiny bit, run it to the bottoms when my hair is damp and that's it. It doesn't have to be a leave-in, but I do recommend and like this is what I've been doing is using one of these after the shower to keep its moisture and you know, very soft and bouncy kind of texture to my hair. And again, does not have to be a higher end product at all. Drugstore has amazing products. OGX hair is awesome. Um, there's just so many like L'Oreal. There's so many brands. So as far as hairspray goes, I don't use it all the time. And I know like my mom, I always just see her like doing this and like going all crazy, literally like 10 minutes, the bottle like this. And I just don't see myself doing that i don't find the need to i don't like crunchy hair i really like it being soft and natural and just like where i can still play with it and it look like it just happened that way you know like it doesn't have to look so precise and that's what i love and the only time i ever really use hairspray is if i need to keep a curl kind of locked in place but like not so heavily a bit in my hand like so keep it like this and just either pat on top of it or if i have a little bit of a flyaway, i will kind of just touch on the area and that's it for hairspray. I hardly ever like, psh, no. Um, this is a really great one though, this is by Garnier. This is the Fruity Style Volume Hairspray. The hold on it is awesome. It is a hold of three, so it's extra strong and it doesn't feel sticky or crunchy or anything, even in my hand. Like I don't even feel like I sprayed anything. So this is definitely one that I would recommend because it doesn't have all that extra like feel. You know what I mean? I don't like that, but that's the hairspray that I do turn to if I do need to use one and it smells so good. It is drugstore, super cheap, love. Before I go ahead and style my hair with any type of heat, which like I told you guys earlier, I don't love to use a lot of heat on my hair. Of course I'll use a blow dryer if I have to, but I actually don't even use a blow dryer like that. I have a lot of hair. My natural hair is pretty darn frizzy and large. <laughs> it's a little poofy, so it's really hard for me to actually blow dry my hair. I'll talk about a styling tool that I'll use in a second, which has helped me a ton, but I don't actually even use like a real blow dryer, hardly ever. But when I do wanna go ahead and style my hair, I do use this primer sometimes, and it's honestly so good. It smells amazing, you guys. I don't know, it kinda smells like coconuts, but I know that that's probably not it. Um, <laughs> this is called the BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil. It is a heat protective primer. This is so, so good prior to styling your hair. This is for dry to very dry hair. Now, like I said earlier, when I don't have anything in my hair straight from the shower and I'm about to style it, my hair is kind of dry. So it does not look like this and doesn't have the shine when it is not styled. I feel like it is pretty dry on its own. So all the moisture and all of that does help when I'm using like the leave-in conditioners and all of that, it does help a ton. So basically you just apply this onto damp hair, comb it through and then go ahead and style it with whatever tool you're using or if you're not gonna style it, it's awesome just to keep in your hair. Pretty much just like a spray. So you just do that. Guys, it smells so good. You just kind of do this, put it in your hair, brush it through and then go ahead and do your whole routine. Okay, so now for the days where I either need to get my roots touched up or my hair's just growing out, it doesn't look as rich in color as it was when I first got it dyed, I will go in with this product. Now, of course, you can use an eyeshadow if you'd like. That's what I always use. But I have been using this a ton, and I absolutely love it. You guys need to try this. They have tons of these on the market. It's the Clairol Root Touch-Up. It is temporary, obviously, and it is the... I want to say it's... Car deep brown or dark brown. I don't see the name on here. You basically just apply this powder right over here with the brush that comes right to anywhere you want to apply it. So if it's your roots, if it's in here by your baby hairs, like any of that, you're going to be locked in, in place and all the color is back to its original state. I am obsessed with it. Little patch right here that's like less because the dye is fading. Cause I don't know in here I get like less hair. It's weird. Um, it just looks so perfect. Like it looks like I just got my hair done again. So highly recommend this. This is what I've been using a ton. I really like always use eyeshadow, but ever since I discovered this, 
the girl has not been putting it down. It is pretty important to use a heat protector. So I like to use the Keratin Complex Infusion Therapy. This is their Thermo Shine Thermal Protectant Mist. My mist little thing like kind of broke. So I, what I like to do is apply just a little bit in my hand and it's kind of like an oily texture. Just apply it like so and apply it straight from here down very lightly. This is awesome. Smells so good. Like, all these products smell so good. I'm telling you, you don't even have to wear like perfume because your hair just smells bomb. Like you walk by, you smell it. It is so, so good. So this is one I've been using for years and I've used other ones, but I feel like this one just works the best. You can either use this when you're blow drying, straightening, using a curling wand, curling it, whatever it is. Highly recommend. This is so, so good. As for a little bit of shine, if I do the extra shine that day, I will use the Sparkling Soda by Dry Bar. Another product that I don't spray directly on my hair, I find that just spraying it in your hand gets just the amount of products that you want. And then you just kind of do this. So I personally don't add too much of any product to the roots because that is the area that will look the most oily and I don't want that. So I will just add a tiny touch of it to the front and then the rest goes to the bottom. And it is such a beautiful shine, literally like you just walked out of the salon. They do have a trial, um, like traveling size as well. So definitely get that one because you honestly don't need a lot. And I feel like I kind of regret getting the big bottle because I've had this for a year and a half now and I barely used anything, but I did use it. You know what I mean? So you only need a tiny bit. So those are all the products that I like to use on my hair. Now, of course they fluctuate. I do use other products here and there, which I will list below for you guys. This is just my current essentials that I've been using. So now I have two hot tools straightener. Actually, I don't have on hand. It is upstairs, sorry. Um, but it is called the Babyliss Nano Straightener. It is a blue straightener. I've had it for years. It is my favorite. You guys need to try that. Um, you can get an Ulta. For blow drying my hair, like I said, I don't use a blow dryer. If I do, it is just like some random one. I don't have one that I'm tied to. So this is the Revlon One Step. You guys probably seen this everywhere. I also talk about this a ton on my Instagram. I love this. So basically it is a blow dryer, but it has the bristles on it. You're able to give yourself an at-home blowout. It is a blow dryer, but it has the bristles so you're able to comb as you do it. You don't need a brush or anything like that. It's all in one. I'm obsessed. You basically switch this little nozzle down here to either cold or hot. And if you don't want to do a blowout, you can do it straight. I do recommend using this on damp hair. Fully saturated hair, no, no, that's way too much. I feel, I think that's just like really killing your hair, if you ask me. Totally recommend a heat protectant with this so you don't have any breakage. And my hair looks pretty good when I use this. Like I said, can't really do a full on blowout with a blow dryer, so this is awesome because I can achieve it with this. Gives a little nice flips and waves and blowout look. It's awesome, so highly recommend this. They have a lot of these on the market now, I feel, but this is by Revlon. As far as a curling wand, when I go ahead and do a wave like so, what I have rocking today, if I wanna have like a curl or anything like that, I do turn to this baby. This is the Numi 5-in-1. I've had this curling wand for about four years now. I've tried so many other hair tools and so many other wands like this, and I cannot find one that works just like this. The amount of heat that it gives, the amount of like curl it is, the hold and everything. Like my hair looks this good all day. Like it'll have the same exact body and hold for the entire day. I won't have to touch up. It doesn't really loosen at all. It's the exact way that I left the house is how it's gonna look at the end of the day, which is so incredible. And I feel like that's really hard to find. Whenever you see me having curlier or wavy hair like this, this is definitely the wand and tool that I'm using. Love, love, love. I will have all these products and items listed down below for you in the description. I'll have them linked as well, so it's super easy to find. That's pretty much all of my hair care essentials and how I like to take care of my hair. I also don't wear any extensions anymore either, so this is literally my hair. It is so healthy and so thick, and that's not me bragging, that's just me being super happy about it because my hair was going through some times. It's like one side was longer than the other, and it just wasn't growing. So those are all of my essentials and my little tips for my hair care. I have been getting tons of requests to do a video like this. So I hope this was like, okay, the style that I decided to do. And if you guys want to see like an actual routine of it, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I hope I covered it all in this video. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.